so the new instruments that come with Sonar this time around um, include RXP, which is a Rex player. This is definitely one of my favorite new plugins. And this is, uh, comes with only with Sonar Producer Edition. And what this allows me to do, I can load up any Rex file directly into my project. And uh, as you probably know, Sonar already supports uh, acidized loops. Um, and that's really popular for a lot of people. But a lot of people have Rex libraries as well. Or maybe you have Recycle and you want to use the loops that you've created. Um, we've included RXP. We've also included um, hundreds of megabytes of, of free loops that come in the box as well. So I'm going to browse through a couple of those right now. Um, let's see. We just want maybe some drum parts here to start with. I can preview these very easily just by using this browser that's built into the plugin. And once I find one that I like, I can just go back into the project here. Let's see. Okay, I like this one. So I'm going to go back into the plugin. Um, you can play back the loop at different, uh, different pitches, for one thing. So you can play back at the same tempo, but stretch the pitch up or down. So I want to pitch this part down. I can trigger this all through MIDI control as well. So I can record a performance of triggering the loop uh, at different speeds. Uh, you can also adjust the individual slices here. So you can trigger individual slices from MIDI. So you can use this more of like a traditional drum machine, but using slices from a loop that you've created. Um, you can also do interesting things with the individual loop slices, um, like actually moving them around. So within the interface, I can move a slice to a different point. So I completely change the rhythm of that just by moving a couple slices around. If you want to even do things like randomizing these parts, you can right click and go to randomize. And it'll just jumble the slices up. Come up with some really creative ideas very quickly. This also has built in filters and effects. So I have a low pass filter, for example, here. Also, amp en envelopes. And as I mentioned, you can import your own Rex files in addition to using the ones that we provide. Um, the other thing that's uh, unique about this, let me just reset these uh, slices here. Uh, there's a, some sort of MIDI groove that's associated with a Rex file. And when you can hear that when I play uh, the preview button here. Uh, but how do you actually get that into your project? We have uh, just this note icon here. If you drag that into the MIDI track uh, for your virtual instrument, You'll see that there's some different MIDI notes here. That are going to play back that part for us. And if I want that part to repeat, I can uh, simply right click on it and turn it into a, a MIDI loop or a groove clip. And I can roll that out and then that drum loop is going to repeat for us for as long as we need it. Also the nice thing about Rex files is I can actually go into my MIDI piano roll view and uh, edit individual notes within this. So if I want to change the, the moment it, when the snare triggers, I can move it back or forward or replace it with a different drum from within that same loop. Uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, also, a couple other instruments. We have a sound font player called SFZ. Just a great little sampler plugin. Uh, one of my favorite plugins as well is called Pentagon. And uh, Pentagon's a virtual analog synthesizer. This was developed by RGC Audio. And uh, some of you might have heard of RGC. We've actually acquired them. We, we bought RGC at the beginning of the year. And uh, Rene, uh, their awesome developer who uh, came up with plugins like Pentagon and Zeta, now works for Cakewalk. Uh, and so he's, uh, in addition to allowing us to use plugins like Pentagon inside of Sonar, we're now starting to develop virtual instruments uh, within, within Cakewalk which we'll be talking about more later. But within Pentagon here, we have uh, a really very robust virtual analog synth. Uh, you have four separate oscillators you can work with, all the things you'd expect to find on a good analog synthesizer, um, multiple filters, envelope generators, all that great stuff. 
Uh, if I want to just draw this into a track, let's open up my MIDI track here. Get an idea of some of the great sounds this is capable of here. You can see the, how useful this inline MIDI editing is too. Rather than having to pop open a bunch of different windows to work with a part, I can just very simply draw in uh, MIDI patterns directly into a track. And those are uh, exclusives with, uh, with Producer Edition. Um, you get RXP, you also get Pentagon. You also get a, a third analog synthesizer, or a, I'm sorry, a second analog synthesizer called Sign 2. So you really have a pretty much endless um, number of patches that come with the program. So that's, um, that's an overview of Sonar 5, Producer Edition. Um, again, really the key points with this version, completely 64-bit compatible. Even if you're working on a 32-bit computer, you get 64-bit mixing inside of Sonar. Um, great new instruments, RXP, Pentagon, uh, Sign. Uh, you also have some great new built-in editing features. V-Vocal is amazing, allows you to edit vocals uh, in a very well-integrated interface. Uh, sounds awesome. Um, you also have uh, some great new mixing features, peak markers, bus preview, uh, and interface improvements like improved MIDI editing, inline piano roll view, and that's Sonar 5.